Hello, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we are here with a different tutorial because I want to talk to you about cleaning our sewing machines. So I know that it's something that some of you may have never done before and actually I just learned how to do it so I wanted to share with you because I really really think it's important. I already did it and I noticed the difference on the sound of the machine and also on the performance. On my overlock I also replaced my, my blades so they are cutting much better, both of them, the upper blade and the lower blades. Uh, and you can even notice when you are sewing the huge difference on the sound it looks almost like if the machine was new so it's really really amazing so the first thing I want to share is the the tools we need for today's tutorial so I will use my small scissor that I always use on my sewing I will I have this brush this is not a specific brush, this is from my paintings, but I never painted with this one, so this is to help me clean. I also have here a screwdriver with, I don't know the name in English, but this is like a cross here. Uh, so I need this one for my machine specifically, okay. And I, on my sewing machine, I have this, this comes with the machine. And the most important thing I want to show you is the oil that we are going to use. So this is the oil. It also comes with this small screwdriver, which we will not be... Uh, yes, we will be using today also. And for instance, this is the box that came with my B48 fun lock. But for instance, with my Bernina B325, this is the box that comes with the machine. And here you can see the oil. It's a little bit different, but it's the same. So it's not a kitchen oil, okay? Girls, please don't improvise. Use the, the provided oil to do the maintenance. So I, I have here the oil for this one. And my Bernina B325 also comes with this and with this small one. And also this that I don't know what it is. I have to see. Ah! So nice, this is new for me. Well, but it's not for today. So we will be uh, doing the cleaning on my B48, not the Bernina today, but more or less the, the method will always be the same. So we have to disassemble some parts of the machine so we can uh, place the oil on certain parts. So I'm gonna start disassembling my machine and you can follow. So I'm gonna remove this small bin and open this and as you can see it's so dirty I have here a lot of uh, fabrics and uh, you know the usual so I'm gonna deactivate my blades so I'm gonna just roughly clean this with my brush because I really don't like to see all this powder from the fabrics and the next next thing is I'm uh, placing my needles up and I'm gonna cut all my threads and remove all the threads from my sewing machine so I can clean it okay to remove the thread something that we can do uh, it, and it's much easier is you can place the tension all of them to the zero sometimes uh, if you have uh, you have discs here and these discs will compress your threads and this is the disc that gives the tension to your threads. So if the disc is not clean, um, the tension will be different and it will affect your sewing. So you have to make sure that this is clean. So if you want to clean, you place this all on zero, so with no tension and you make sure to go with a, a piece of paper on the middle of each uh, disc to make sure that you remove all the, the powder and that's the way to clean the discs but mine are already cleaned but you can do that then here on the inside of my machine I'm going to put the foot up and remove the threads just like I told you so I'm gonna pull them okay so no more threads and I already um, deactivated my um, blades Something that will improve your uh, cutting if you have an overlock like mine is changing the, um, the blades. Uh, a small detail that I've learned is that when we are uh, placing the blade on the correct spot, 
we, on, we only want the blades to, this is the lower that the blade goes. And if you see in detail on the video, you will see that almost the blade from the top and from the bottom, it almost doesn't overlap. So they almost don't overlap themselves. So when you are uh, placing the, the, the blades, the upper blades, you have to un un unscrew this one and you can adjust the position of the blades. And if you uh, don't position it like I'm showing you here, it will also affect the results. So in my machine, this is the perfect adjustment. And so this is why uh, my uh, blade is like so. I'm going to deactivate it. And you can also see that this is the lower blade, this one here. And I have also replaced it because unfortunately I left some pins going through the machine and they ruined my blades. And so my fabric was not being cut it properly and I really needed to uh, correct that. So now I'm going to turn my machine and I'm going to unscrew a lot of things. So we can start by unscrewing our I don't know the name in English for some technical things. Sorry about that. But you can see I'm pointing. It's like it's this part here. If we don't know the name, we don't know the name. It's no problem. So I'm going to unscrew this one and remove this here. So before we unscrew this and we lose our bolts, I'm going to just roughly with my vacuum cleaner, I'm going to just roughly okay it's much better so now we are ready to unscrew all of this and start disassembling our machine As you can see, we removed the needles, we, we also removed our foot uh, and so you can already see a lot of dust and I've cleaned the machine one week ago so it's not that dirty but anyway you can see a lot of dust um, here. I bet you, you, you saw that and so I'm gonna vacuum a chunk of <laughs> okay so I'm gonna vacuum all this area and then we will also open the sides and also this upper part here from the machine okay us to insert the oil to include the oil on our video today so here is the oil as I told you do not improvise with other oil other than the manufacturer oil and now we have to place oil on the parts that move for instance here you can see this rotating 
you can also see there rotating here on the lower part here okay I'm turning on with my hand so you can see if that all this axle here rotates when I move the machine so we have to I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna put a lot of oil because I've done this one week ago but you just do like so until you have a little bit of oil on your structure so I, I think you can see I'm going to turn this to this side this one we will do when we uh, take this we will place the oil on this part here but this one the lower part here you can see going up and down right so you can also place a little bit of oil here and then just move it like so and so every part that you can see that it moves you should put up a, a little bit of oil and as I told you I've done this one week ago so I'm not gonna go ahead and place everywhere the oil but you can perfectly see where this is moving where the machine is moving so you just go ahead and place the oil on the moving parts so now I am going to open the top head here to show you uh, the, the spot where we will oil this part here and we will be almost done then we need to assemble something that uh, I want to share with you is that uh, you can see that the blade is very very sharp and you can actually see that it's new because it's so perfect so you can see that this one is new uh, if you need to replace this part here this is the way to do it you also have here some screws so if you buy this piece you can easily replace it and I think that this is something that I will do in the future when I need to by myself but of course if you have your seller near you maybe you can send the machine to the seller if it's easier for you so now I'm gonna disassemble the top part here So now to remove this side part here, you can insert, I'm using a clip and gently I'm going to do it like so and now gently I'm going to pull this out and as you can see it was easy and now with this one you have a screw inside there, I'm sure you cannot see it but you will see it once you open your So machine now I'm gonna unscrew this and we will be able to place the oil so the piece is almost released I find it easier to use this one but you will see that the screw is supposed to be with this one but I actually think it's easier for me with this one you can see here and I actually prefer to use this one like so with the other one I felt that I, I was ruining my screw oh so this is out and you can see the inside here you can see this is the lead so this is the light LED that lightens your sewing area over here and I actually uh, will probably in the near future I will reply, replace this LED because I would like this to have a little bit more light but I've heard that Bernet, Bernina is going to release some new machines with a lot more light but just so you know this is the LED and now we can already see up there the needle uh, cylinder that goes up and down I don't know if there's enough light let me try and light this for you 
the wall. So I'm gonna move it so you can see it moving. So that this part that you are seeing moving, I have to use both my hands so you will not have light, so I'm sorry. So you use your oil and you drop a little bit of oil on that part there so it's smooth coming up and down and we are ready to close our sides just remember which screw you removed from each part to place this two uh, screws until the end because once I place my needles I want to confirm that they are going on the holes of the plate they are going on the correct spot and if I need to adjust slightly this the position of this plate I can do it so I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose so that I, I can adjust once I have my needles so I'm gonna place my foot and also my needles so that I can check the position of the needles. So these two parts come with the machine so you can just place them in the beginning as they are always all the time they are he here perfect for you to use them every time you need them as you can see it also has this brush which I never use but it has here and also this uh, edgy point here but I actually use my own brush so this is it so now let's place the foot and then check the place for the needles I mean we can already see the place for the needles because if you can see this in detail you see that the needle is scraping the surface here. I know that this is hard on the camera, but so I'm gonna adjust this so that my needle is not touching. Like so. And now I'm... And now I'm gonna place them finally in the final position. So this is it for today probably if you really want to I can do this to my other sewing machine so I have Bernet B38 as a straight stitch machine but I have recent, recently acquired also the Bernina B325 and I'm actually loving it I'm I also bought a special foot that helps me uh, feed the fabrics into the machine so it's uh, really something that I will go uh, on a detailed video in the near future but those also need maintenance you you also need to clean them you also need to place oil and and to vacuum clean them so probably i will do that in the future but for today this is it guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel bye